screwed up on uh, drilling the holes or hole for this so I only have like 50% uh, thread engagement but I have the cooler work shifter and uh, I had an aftermarket knob on here and I actually didn't have enough thread engagement and I um, sheared off part of the threads so this is actually a threaded rod that I put in there and it's longer for more engagement so let's do a quick test fit so I'm not perfectly concentric but again this is one of those things that it's like nobody's gonna notice except for you when you're doing the work and once it's on the car just like this Nobody's ever going to know if you are 15, 20, 30 thousandths or off or, you know, a couple degrees. So it's whatever. You know? And then this will act as the, as the stop, actually the bottom of the shifter. But when you're making your own stuff, um, I don't know, I think it's just cheaper and cooler to do your own stuff instead of buying something.
All right, so uh, here it is all finished up. You can kind of just barely see where I pushed that pin into it, and you can just kind of see if I get the right angle where the seam is between the two halves. Overall, not too noticeable, especially once it's screwed into place. I've been driving around with it for a couple weeks, actually probably a couple months at this point, uh, and uh, it works really well. So I actually sized this uh, knurled part to fit the, the width of my hand and one of the benefits of when it's plastic like this on the outside is that the plastic wears into place or wears down slowly so it actually becomes um, a little bit smoother to the touch uh, while still being able to grip onto here. The other benefit is since we have a metal core in here we get a lot of weight this one actually weighs about a pound uh, but the outside in the summertime never gets super hot because the metal can't uh, absorb all of that uh, the UV from the light in the winter time uh, it doesn't get too cold to touch because again uh, we just have a uh, plastic and if I didn't mention it before this design I did uh, specifically to be 3d printed because the shapes that I did internally and with this knurling um, can't be machined like this. So this is only something that you can get if you do a 3D print. Uh, and I have since updated this design so that it would be easier. You wouldn't have that pin to push into place to hold the two halves together. So uh, I don't know if I'll ever actually make more of them, but it's just kind of cool to have. And then, and I have one more video um, where I'm driving with this run around that I'll link. Um, I'll try and link it right here. So, but overall, this is probably the best shift knob that I've ever had. Um, so, yeah, get out there and try and make ones just like this.